Hey there planners, welcome back to my channel. My name is Mimi. Today we are setting up um, my budget planner for the month of uh, January. So I want to show you this little extension pack that or companion pack that I purchased. It comes with three envelopes. No, not three envelopes, four envelopes. Which I think I'm gonna add to my planner. It comes with this weekly expense dry eraser, dry erase board. And I'm gonna add the, the folder. Now this right here, you have financial goals. You have the monthly here. I'm not gonna use that. Accounts, I think I'll, I'll, use, I'll use this probably. Saving for so saving savings trackers and then no spend. Oh, okay. Let me put this no spend trackers. I'll use that and budget review. Oh, and this one too. Okay. So this one, I don't think I'm gonna use this right here. Let me see what else we have here. We have some stickers. And we have note paper. Okay, so I don't think I'm gonna use this either. All right, so let me take the stuff that I'm gonna use. What I did is I wrote down my expenses. So my paycheck is on the 13. And on the 27. Right here. The stickers that I'm using, um, they are from Casey Late Design, and I'll leave a link. Um, she was so kind to give us 15% uh, off, and you can use either my code, which is uh, Make Up Your Plan 15, or you can um, click on the link that I'm going to leave you. So I always start with my payday and also with my savings. What I'm doing is we're splitting every time I get paid, we're putting half the um, the car payment. So we're doing that because we're ahead already. And um, that's going to keep us ahead every month. All right. So now credit card. Let's see what we have. All right, so one of my credit cards is due on the 4th. Then credit card number two is on the 24th. So I'm just going to add it here to the top. Because I really don't mind the 31st right here. Um, I don't have anything due on the 31st. This is what I use to color code my um, my planner. Um, red would be for my expenses. Green is income. Purple would be savings, and the black just to write dates. Okay, so let's do this. This would be credit card number one and number three. So we do one. And number three and on the 24 we have credit card number two now next I'm gonna do my um, mm, you know what I forgot to write down my uh, my paycheck how much did I make okay I know we put $85 in savings so 85 And so I got paid 857 and something else. I'm gonna have to double check, but it's it's on my phone and I'm I can't see right now. So for the credit cards, we're just gonna do fifty dollars for each, okay? That's done. And then this one, fifty. 
The card payment is $169.90. This one was paid. And $169.90. That's not paid yet. Okay. Now we're going to add, let me see. I need little stickers here, you guys. I have this um, budget sticker book from the happy planner this is in the mini and okay yeah i'm gonna use this right here so let's do you know what let me take this and what i'm gonna do is i'm just gonna keep it here in the folder okay we need Right after my paycheck, you guys, um, I give my daughter her allowance. And I also put the money aside for my challenge, which this year I'm committing to the 26, um, the 26 week savings challenge instead of the 52. I think 52 weeks was too much for me. Like doing the, the challenge every week was just getting to be too much so I feel like doing the challenge every time I get paid it's um, it's reasonable you know it's easier for me just to do it the day that I get paid and then just forget about it and then here we have to do on the Sunday mm -hmm. this Sunday right here we're gonna do two things. We're gonna do groceries. Sixteen, seventeen. And we're gonna do gas. Alright, so here I'm just gonna add gas. groceries because I get paid on the 27th so the Sunday after that is the 31st okay so let's do this so here's for my daughter it's $25 and here Now here we do gas, which is 50. And food, which is 200. Now here for the notes, you guys, let me just write it here, due date. So on the 4th, on the 4th we have credit card number 1 and credit card number 3. After that we have the card payment on the 13th. And then on the 24th, we have credit card number two. Okay, good. Okay, so now, now that we have those numbers here, we are moving to the monthly here. So for this month, uh, let's see okay let me see how we're gonna do this okay let me change this 
the stickers here are from Lupita Sticker Shop and I have a 10% discount code also. And I'll link that in the uh, in the information box. Thank you. Thank you, Lupita, for that code. It's a one-time code, okay? Um, but for Casey's, um, it's through either March or May. But I'll double check. And you can use the 15% on hers. So for paycheck one, this is what we're going to do. I don't know if I should white this out. I, no. Let me see. Uh, maybe I should. I don't know. Uh, let's just leave it like that. So let's paycheck one. And let's do paycheck. Because I like to do the uh, paycheck breakdown every time I get paid. We are going to add this here. There we go. And then I'll just, uh, actually, yeah, it doesn't matter. It's fine. Paycheck one, I know that. All right. So this is where I don't know what I'm going to do here, you guys. Okay, you guys. So I decided not to use the Happy Planner um, layout that it was right behind the monthly. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the, the Budget Mom's monthly budget. So we're just going to do January here. There we go. Yeah, this is much better. I was not, um, the other layout didn't have the things that I needed. So, so for my monthly, let's do two paychecks. Okay, this is, but even here, even here, it's not, because it doesn't have the actual and budgeted so let's um let's do this. Let's just add a column here. Let me see. Oops. Yeah, I like that better. Okay, so I just added a column here. And what we're going to do is um, we're going to add my part-time job here. And that's my only source of income. So my estimator would be 1000 And for the month, I'm estimating 2000 so let's do expected or budgeted. Now for the expenses here, we have our cheat sheet here ready to go. I And I don't have a pen. Don't worry, the pen survive. <laughs> okay, so fix. I'm not gonna go by this. I'm just gonna do it like I was doing it before, which um, I'm just gonna do gas. Car payment. We're going to do a credit card one, two, and three. This is going to be my cash envelopes right here. So we're going to do groceries. We're gonna do spending. Oh, which I put here personal care, but it's um, the same, spending. We're gonna do my daughter's allowance here. Couponing. Okay. For debt right here, this is gonna be sinking funds. So sinking funds, the main one is my taxes. Credit number one. 
credit number two, credit number three. So now I'm gonna do here one more thing. We're gonna do sinking funds. Yeah, and I'm just gonna do one category and then we're gonna split it up. Sinking funds. Now let's do the amount. Yes, I always put uh, $50 per paycheck, so that would be 100 per month, because this is our monthly. The car payment would be 334 let me see what the amount is, $334.95. For the credit cards, let's do 100 each. Taxes, we're gonna do, you know what? I need to do more than what I'm doing right now. So what I'm gonna do here, oh, no, not here, here. I'm gonna do $200 a month instead of 100. Because tax season is gonna be in like a month and a half or so. Now credit one, all of this, it's gonna be um, extra payments after I zero my budget here. Sinking funds, let's see what we wanna do for sinking funds. Um, for sinking funds, I'm just gonna do, um, let's see, I just don't think I'm gonna have enough. Okay, let's do 100, but I think it's gonna have to be less. Groceries, it's always 400 a month. Spending would be 200. My daughter would be 50. And my coconut would be 100. Now for saving, we're gonna have to do 10% savings. And budgeted would have to be 10% of this 2,000. So let's do 200. And the next would be the 22 week challenge. No, not 22 week, 26 week challenge. So let's do 26 week challenge. And for that, we are going to do, per paycheck, you guys, we have to put away $52. So one of four a month. All right, so now let's do the math and see if we're going to have enough. <laughs> because I don't think it's going to be enough. All right. So that's 100 plus 334.95. Plus one, two, three, plus three hundred. So just here it's seven thirty-four ninety-five. Now for sinking funds, it's gonna be three hundred. I don't know why this is where do I put it? Do I put it here or here? Okay, I'm not sure. 300. Now here, let's do 400 for groceries, 200 for spending, 50 for my daughter, and 100 for couponing. Oof, 750. And now for savings, oh, it's 304. All right. So let's do income. Oh, and we have to divide this too. One second. All right, so let's add budgeted 2,000 for income. Minus expenses. Let's do 734.95. 
plus 300 plus 750 plus 304. Oh, we went over. Okay, so that would be 2,000. 88 dollars and 95 cents okay so we are over we're gonna be on the red for now 88 dollars and 95 cents which means that i have to adjust my numbers you guys because um otherwise i'm not gonna have enough and what i my purpose with my paychecks is to have a zero-based budget. For now, this is what it looks like, but we have room here to play. I don't have to spend $200 here on my personal. I don't have to spend $100 on couponing. I don't have to spend $100 in sinking funds. Taxes, yes, and the rest of the expenses, yes, but those, we have room to play. And savings I don't wanna to touch, I wanna to keep them the same. So if we're only $88.95 over, we can take it from here. For my trackers here, I already did my first challenge. You guys, let me show you. So this is how my challenge is gonna look like. Every paycheck, I'm gonna draw a number, which is gonna be here. I have 26 numbers there. And what I did, I did increments of two. So two, four, six, eight. And I pulled the first number here. So we have $2. And that's what we're starting with. After the year, it's over. After the 26 weeks, we should have $702. And I'm gonna still color my, um, the flower right here. Here's my 10% savings tracker for 2021 because I already we already transferred the $85 into our savings with today's paid uh, paycheck. Now here, after I stuff my envelopes and um, whatever we have left, if I have any dollar uh, bills, we're gonna do the $1 challenge. And if we have any $5 bills, we'll do the $5 challenge. As well so here are the sinking funds I haven't done that yet here's my bill tracker these are my due dates and all the expenses that we have for the month my credit score I still have to fill this out with my credit card information and no spend Okay, so this is good. This will be this will give you a yearly um, overview of your income, expenses, and your savings, and then you can uh, total everything here. So that's nice. I like that. So I'm gonna use this. Should I transfer this? You know what? Let's transfer this to your trackers right here to the month that we're working on. Let me see. So we're gonna move those to the month. And this right here, this three months are from uh, Plan With Michelle. And now you're ready. So what I did is I just put this dots right here. This is from a Glittery Life Plants from Trisha's um, shop. And I marked the dates and I put what appointments I have here. So that's what we're gonna do. And we start the month here. So let me put this right here. I think I want to do it here. Yeah, let's do it here. I need to count my no spend, you guys. So I have to record that. I have to get the information. I have to go on check my checking account and see how many days because I really am not spending. <laughs> I'm really trying not to spend money at work which is like the worst thing because we can spend so much money eating out and I really don't wanna do that anymore. All right, you guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope that you enjoyed this video and I will see you on the next one. Bye.